Alright, we're back with another video. Alright, so I'm like, uh, I don't know how many weeks into college. Um, what I said before, I don't know if I'm going to post that video before I do this, but if I did, then it still kind of sucks. But we're not going to talk about that, that today. About, around a week ago, I was sick for like a week. Um, pain all over my body, like muscle aches. I mean, I never took a temperature, so I don't know if I had a fever, but it felt like I had a fever. Just all the different symptoms, you know, feeling like shit, that's what I felt. And being sick can teach you a lot, I think. And in a sense, I don't enjoy being sick, I don't want to be sick again, but it's it's kind of a good thing sometimes, because it can, it can give you a new perspective on things. So. What I've learned when I'm sick is you feel like shit, you can't do anything, right? And when you're sick, you only want one thing. The only thing you want is to get better. But when you're not sick, you want everything. You want this, you want that, you want this, that. You want so many things. And you don't even know where to, what to focus on. So being sick kind of teaches you that teaches you a lot about the way the world works and materialism because when you're sick you only want one thing all you want to do is be better when you're feeling healthy we take it for granted no, most of us don't sit down and think like damn I'm, 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 I'm glad to be alive today I'm glad to be feeling good I can get up I can walk I can do these physical activities I can think straight some people don't even have those common things so what we have to sit back and be grateful for those. Gratitude is one of the most important things in life because without gratitude, you have misery and stagnation. You have just plain meh. So gratitude is very important. And back to materialism, when we when we feel good, we want so many things. We want the new car, we want the new house, we want the new girl, we want the new everything. We want more of everything. And you don't need all of those things. Now, it's okay to have desires. I mean, you know, like Buddhism will teach you that the key to not suffer anymore at all in life is to eliminate all your desires. But unless you're a devoted Buddhist, you're probably not going to devote your life to trying to release all of your desires and attachments. But those are still good things to do. Analyzing your desires and attachments to things and people are good things to analyze because you can think to yourself, okay, why am I attached to this person? Why am I attached to this thing? Do I need to be attached to this person or thing? Is it necessary? Is it healthy? Is it unhealthy? And then you can take the steps from there and figure out what you need to change in your life, what you need to keep the same. And the new this, the new that, again, it's good to have desires. You can strive for those things if you want a nice car if you want a nice this if you want a nice this but I shouldn't even be using the word nice because everyone's definition is different um, just you can be content without having these nice things the stereotypical nice things um, and they're good to strive for so you can go for them but if you don't end up getting that and you can't be disappointed. Now, you can be in the short term, but overall, you can't be disappointed. Like, ah, oh, fuck, it didn't work out, blah, 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 blah. You're still alive. You're still, you're still here. You're still living. You still have something. If you have a... It doesn't matter if you have the fucking $500,000 car. If you have a car that works, all in all, that's enough. Some people don't even have that. Now, I know sometimes looking at, like, other people and, like... So, all right, so when you look at people who are less fortunate than you, it can teach you a lot of things, and that's good to do. And you can become more grateful for what you have. But also, sometimes that doesn't really help. You can look at people like, and it's like, okay, yeah, but like, I'm in my situation, and I still want this, blah, 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 right? So, figure out what's important to you. If there's certain material things that you really want, kind of hone in on like not that many of those don't focus on i want this 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 focus on like i don't know one or two things 
And then once you have those two things or whatever, move on to the next things. And, I mean, I don't think your goal in life should be to, I need these nice cars, I need this nice house, I need this perfect everything. Because all in all, that isn't really perfect. I mean, Jim Carrey said that he wishes, if you don't know who Jim Carrey is, he's a pretty famous actor and stuff like that. So, Jim Carrey said that he wishes every single person could have what he has, all the fame, all the money. He wishes everybody could have what he has for them to realize that that's not it. That's not the meaning of life. That's not what makes you happy. There's there's a ton of cases. There's so many people who are rich and famous and killed themselves. They ended their own lives. And you're striving to get that rich, that richness, that fameness. It, that's it. You're not, you're not longing. You're not... Uh, you're not trying to build deep connections with people. You're not to not. You're not trying to build your mindset and have a foundation for yourself. You're just trying to get the rich stuff and the nice stuff. And ultimately, from many of these people's experiences, at first when you first get that stuff, it's probably like, oh yeah, that's amazing. But over time, you're probably gonna realize that that's not it. Now I think to myself like. I, it would be nice if I had a great car. It would be nice if I had this nice house. It would be nice if I had this stuff. But I put things into perspective, and I think, okay, yeah, it'd be nice if I had that stuff. But the insecurities that I have in my mind, the different pover- the different problems I'm dealing with, which are many problems that we all deal with that don't have to do with money, those are still there. Just because you have the things you you wanted or thought you wanted doesn't mean doesn't mean that that is what the purpose of life is the purpose of life I mean I'm not gonna flat out say what the purpose of life is but some things you should probably strive for is deep connections with people developing a strong mindset if you have a passion pursue that passion or If you don't have a passion yet, explore different things, try new things so you can have a passion. Because that really helps you out when you're struggling and doing things that you don't want to do. And um, all in all, I mean, the moral of this video is don't let materialism guide your life. There's things and people that are much bigger than that. Alright? That's all. Enjoy your night, guys.